Friday. Still bad, bitch. I took that bitch to Ben and Holla. She don't want that, so I took her to McDonald's. She ain't never really cutting up your. What's up, gang? See, we back. Before we get this video up, bro, I just got a tongue twisted. You hear me? My girl on the side watching me, brother. But hey, before we get this video started, brother, you know what I'm saying? Free queso, brother. You know what I'm saying? I will be in Jacksonville, real, real, real soon, I'm saying? And I ain't trying to go to Jacksonville, and I don't got time for none of that shit playing with no little boys in Jacksonville, say. Simple, bro. But look, check it out, bro. We got queso, you know what I'm saying? Charles with the killing the baby, you know what I'm saying? So, I've been doing reactions to, um, Fulio and, um, I'm guessing Bibi, that's his partner or something. Because the song Young and Nick's dead, who I smoke, he said he's smoking on Bibi, you know what I'm saying? Damn, Fulio dropped this song, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm kind of, you know, seeing how everything going and everything playing out and who on what side and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? But look, but we about to rock out, bro. I ain't came to talk y'all head up, bro. Pay attention to class, buddy. You might learn something, bro. Just that motherfucking simple, man. Let's get it unclear if the rappers are directly linked to these murders but she says it's hard enough having to live with her son's violent death every day and it makes it worse seeing her son portrayed like this Man, that boy like oh demon out here why you hate to see her son portrayed like this look how you look that bitch scared me sick of this dude Nah, hey, I respect that. Say he he ain't gonna put no he ain't gonna put nothing out, you know, unless he had all the facts, bro. Okay. I ain't gonna lie, sending the music creeping me out, so I'm thinking about skipping this shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna I'm gonna let it run, though. I'm gonna let it run. rapper linked to a violent gang in Jacksonville is in jail on two separate murder charges. Hakeem Robinson was charged in connection with the 2019 murder of 16-year-old Adrian Gaynor Jr. News for Jack's reporter Corley Peel spoke with Gaynor's family tonight. I still don't sleep, I still don't eat, and they still don't bring my baby back. Corley is now joining us live. Yeah, Corley, how was this arrest made? Hakeem Robinson has already been here in Duval County Jail, serving time for a different murder in 2020. He was served an arrest warrant last week in connection to Adrian Gaynor's murder. And as long as Robinson is in jail, Gaynor's mother feels the community is safe. Bro, I, bro, t bro, help me understand in the comment section, bro. This man, Casey, did all that out just said, and they saying this man needs to be locked up because they, the people scared of this man. <laughs> bro. We need to do a partition set, you know what I'm saying? And um, we probably going to get case with all that box, bro, and send case to the pack. We got the same case to the Pakistan, brother, you know what I'm saying? Because how they trying to portray this man on the internet, saying like this man is a real shooter, son, and I'm going to say allegedly getting out, alleged, allegedly down, so I can't talk right now, bro. I don't know, bro. If case was here while like that, son, we're going we gonna to send case to the Pakistan, brother. Shouts out to the whole Jacksonville, brother. It, case was, man, come on, it, come on, bro. Hakeem Robinson sits in Duval County Jail with two separate murder charges. His latest arrest is in connection to the 2019 murder of 16-year-old Adrian Gaynor. It's bittersweet. I'm glad they finally got him off the street so he Damn. can't hurt anybody else from David. Damn, Robinson really? has been in jail since September in connection to the 2020 murder of Charles McCormick Jr. His father, Abdul Robinson, is also in jail, charged with accessory after the fact in that same murder. Abdul Robinson Jr. is his also daddy? suspected of murder in that case and is wanted by the U.S. Marshals. His and daddy? His daddy? Bro, his daddy went down with him too? <laughs> bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't mean to laugh, sir, because I know some of y'all niggas on the internet, y'all be down. Y'all be so emotional when it comes down to these dudes, bro. But that big case of a real demon out there, say. We definitely need to get um case of the Pakistan, bro. Real talk, bro. Bro, if I had, bro, if I could talk to Donald Trump right now, son, I'll tell Donald Trump, man, get, get case walk, 
Get Keso out that box, bro, man. We need to send Keso to the wall, bro. Real tough. Keso a real shooter, bro. Conference last year, JSO says the Robinsons are part of a violent drug trafficking saying, organization like, yeah, called ATK, also known as Aces Top Killers. Police say the group consists of nine Keso people. Crazy. Abdul Robinson is a leader. Nine people, you know, potentially responsible for the 15 murders that we know of. Damn, and and who knows years. what else? Investigators say Adrian Gaynor was shot and killed at the Hilltop Village Apartments. A witness told police Hakeem Robinson shot Gaynor at a close range. Detectives say Robinson bragged about Gaynor's murder. Gaynor's nickname was Bibby. His mother says Robinson named an album after her son called Bibby Out. His picture uh, is on... Uh, uh, this man ain't an album after this man, bro. Bro. I'm, I swear, look, bro, check it out, bro. I'm not going to keep pausing this video, son, but this nigga Queso, bro, I, I don't know going to be Queso. I ain't going to lie, son. You know, I don't know want to see Queso in the street. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and turn another way. I'm going to go ahead and keep it real, son. This is the Queso. This is Queso really wild, bro. See Queso out there, box, bro. I'm just joking, bro. It's entertainment, bro. Purpose. Damn, I can't fucking talk. Entertainment. Man, what the fuck wrong with me, bro? I can't even talk right now, gang. Y'all excuse me, son. I can't talk right now, bro. But this nigga case was tripping. Album bro. cover with several other murder victims. Robinson also wrote about Gaynor in his songs. Using the lyrics, you know we smoke, little baby. Now you know we smoke, little baby, bitch. What was that like seeing that? Hell. That every video took my breath away. It took my family's breath away. My kids had to see that. Gaynor would have celebrated his 19th birthday on Friday. That was my life. They turned off my life. Gaynor's mother hopes yeah. Robinson won't ever leave jail. Mad Dads has worked closely with Gaynor's family over the past couple of years. They say they are grateful that a witness came forward with information about Gaynor's murder and they, they encourage more witnesses to speak up so that more families can get justice. Reporting live, Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's what probably fuck kids will be. Don't be Bibby and I, we hit and shit. Nigga never gonna play with queso. Smoke dirty and Bibby to the face, though. Hold up, lady. Bibby, I ain't out of place. Hold up, lady. Bibby, I ain't out of place. Hold up, lady. Bibby, I ain't out of place. Hold up, lady. Bibby, I ain't out of place. Now you know we smoke the Bibby, bitch. Devil got him caught up right there, bro. Hey, what the fuck is going on? He rapping that shit on the song, bro. Devil got him caught up, bro. That nigga Keso crazy as hell. That creep had his ass. Poor ass dead nigga. Damn, that nigga respectful. Hey! Hey! Bitch, you stupid, boy. You need to chill out, man. Hey, they got his mouth walking around. Hey, you hear what the said? Boy, you stupid. You need to chill out, bro. But at the same time, say, Casey shouldn't have been on the songs, bro, rapping that shit. He probably did in real life. I'm going to say allegedly, you know what I'm saying? Bro, Casey said his mama, they poured her that to cremate that man, son. Damn, bro. Damn, Casey, bro. This nigga heard in my heart, like, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm in this shit, you hear me? Like, damn, Keso, bitch, you too hot out here, brother. March! 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 We're on the get of March! Damn, man. No way. And then turn the police on to the old talk that me to put that me to put it like me, yo. Oh my lord! Oh, why the fuck you had to leave? Why the fuck you had to leave? Why didn't you stay with me? Why the fuck you had to leave? Oh, why you had to take you sixteen? Oh my lord! He was sixteen with a body on his belt. Nigga be crying every day. 
I was 16. Yeah, it wasn't dream. I think I had a dream of that. Bitch ass niggas know we run the city. Bitch yeah. out, bunch out, what? Bitch, I be on six, but I don't run up. What the time I have? I be quick to run up in the six, like the niggas on me. Blow a nigga ass down, soon as that was dirt me. Yeah, that was dirt me. That was smoked up dead. Chopping hit him, now he flipping, begging for his life to trick me. He can't run to see me, this how I run out for me, bitch. Not for most, so I been drilling. I some bitch, dang it, slide, they some snitches. Let's pull up in that six block with straight extension. Man, fuck that nigga. Yeah, that nigga just respectful as a motherfucker. That's tough. What you wanna do? Who next? Who next? Somebody coming. Somebody next. Yo. Somebody next. Yo. Somebody next. in the parking lot of a Northwest Jacksonville apartment complex. But for the first time tonight, we're hearing from Adrian Gaynor's family who's seeking justice for his dad. Fucking bragging and shit, bro. They're bragging about that shit, bro. Can't do that, brother. I don't get that shit, bro. Niggas got everything on that bed. Nissan, Maxima, you heard me? Silver. Oh, no. Y'all. Guys, baby had a cold cut, so I wasn't surprised. This little bitch had a pussy ass. Most niggas gonna die, baby. Tell him why. Damn. Nigga went got a whole jersey with that boy's name on the back of that bed. Queso, man, real talk, man. That be queso crazy as a motherfucker. <clears throat> I'm about done with this one, son. I'm going to tell you like this, bro. I'm going to tell you all like this. Queso, brother. I think Queso would have still been out here in this world, bro. Is he wouldn't have been putting that shit in the songs, brother. This should be a lesson learned for all the rappers, bro, out there. You know what I'm saying? If y'all gonna do... If, bro, if y'all gonna do street shit, bro, leave that shit in the streets. Keep that shit off the music, bro, because the feds be watching, bro. And this bitch Queso, bro. We need to all send Queso to Pakistan. Queso need to go to Pakistan, because it's obvious, you know what I'm saying? Queso, he is a real shooter, bro, and he... Really living like that, you know what I'm saying? He not making songs just to act like he hold the brother really living that shit. He saying his songs, bro. But free the brother out that box, you heard me? I'm about done with this one, son. I can't even look at the move, bro. Case was too hot out here, bro. It's just that simple, bro. Y'all catch me in the next video. Yo. Yo, yeah.